Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am exploring Hokkaido, a specific part though, and I am gonna show you guys some different areas up here and some beautiful places that I see. I hope you guys enjoy. Welcome back. Today is going to be more of a voiceover heavy video, so please bear with me. First of all, I wanted to show you some shops and listen to this beautiful sound. A little fun fact about Otaru Hokkaido is they're very famous for their quality of glasswork. All these accessories and beads that are shown in these clips are made out of glass and they are so fragile and yet so precise and detailed that they are so beautiful especially under the light. My grandma got one for my mom, my sister and I and honestly it might be my all time favorite necklaces. Out of all the places I went to in Hokkaido, Otaru was one of my favorites because they had a lot of street food and little shops that you can go in. The other places that I went are more in the middle of nowhere, climbing mountains or very much in the city where there wasn't much to do. But first we had these strawberry mochis and they were so good. Oh my god, there was matcha in it and it was so delicious. I think it was my one of my favorites. If you're planning to visit here, my tip is eat a bunch of street food, split it, don't get one big one. You have to try different ones because they are all worth at least one bite. You have to try some of these foods before you die. Next things next, we came to Lado, I believe it's pronounced. We got a set of three cakes. We got the Italian mascarpone, creme brulee, and the cheesecake. And it was pretty good, but I feel like it's not worth the price. For how famous and popular it is, I had pretty high expectations, but it wasn't the best of the best, I feel like. Let me try, we just go with the most. I just came to the very famous cheesecake area, and I had the set one with three different cakes. And honestly, it was really good. The cheesecake was amazing, and the chocolate cake was also really good. But it was really expensive, and I think the bad thing is each person has to get one thing. So that place, for every person there, you have to order something even if it's a drink. So I literally got a 550 yen milk, but the cake was really good. I feel like when the stores close around 5 or 6, I feel like it's a little inconvenient. But, you know, it is what it is. How could I lie? Why you tripping? I just want serenity So you can miss me with the negativity And you can witness all the possibilities And it hit different when you feel the energy And I'm a lot of energy for enemies I keep the peace I By this time, we were near the closing hours for Otaru shops But we decided we had to get the famous cream puff It was delicious, it was light and fluffy The cream was so good They used Hokkaido milk and that is the best thing you can get And of course we went into another shop And this shop was one of my favorites I think they had the most adorable things Everything was so beautiful This store had about three stories And this whole view was so beautiful i had to show you guys the top floor was my favorite because they had a ghibli collection yes i love ghibli i am a huge sucker for ghibli stuff but i have to control myself so i only got a postcard but i'm really happy about it because it's one of my favorite movies You already know I got something from Ghibli. I got a postcard. I put something inside, but I got a postcard from Whisper of the Heart, and it's amazing. This is a must if you come here. It is so amazing. They have the best stuff ever. This place is literal heaven. You need to come if you come here. We're at this place where they sell fish cakes and I see lots of one that has bread in it, so we're gonna try. It's so good. It's so juicy. It's so good. Yeah, but. 
this one is more of a meat one and we're all sharing it in thirds so let's try <laughs> This is by far my favorite thing we've eaten. A 10 out of 10. By far my favorite. It's basically fish cake inside, nice coating of bread. It's a really weird combo, but it's so good. After eating, of course, we were back to walking. We decided to visit the Otaru Canal. It is very famous and it is so beautiful. Ooh, such a long time running wild. We just went to the Otara Unga River and it's so gorgeous. I recommend going further down where there's less people. It was beautiful. And of course we had to stop by this historical railroad which isn't used anymore but it is so beautiful. We took a nice little walk, took some pictures. Also you should follow me on my Instagram. I tend to post there. Anyways, we saw this beautiful sunset and this made my day because I love sunsets so much. We're heading to dinner, we walked around and found this market where we bought a melon, which I will be eating later. Anyways, off to dinner we go. Most of the places were closed already, they closed by like 7, so this was one of the only places we found open, and I'm so glad we came in here because the food here was amazing. This is a salad, so delicious. This is asparagus soup, so creamy and so sweet. And this is the pastas we got, they were delicious. This is a must. And of course, to end the night off, we had some tea and some delicious, sweet and juicy melon. It was so good. <laughs> 